celle des filles, des filles, des filles de 30 à 31 ans. Mètres. Ça, peu importe le compte de base. Peu importe qu'on est riche, qu'on est pauvre, à la base, c'est difficile. Put the fourth down, you dit Dr. Phil. <rire> ben, quand on a un défi financier, quand on est pauvre, comment on peut bien s'alimenter et faire un centime? Comment vous avez réussi à faire ça, Robert? Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, how I lost weight was cut. I used to drink a lot of pop and chips and etc. Ice cream. Uh, I cut out that stuff. I might have an odd pop every once, twice, once a week. And if I do, I'll drink half a bottle and I'll give the rest to my wife. Uh, live off water and water, as they say, helps you lose the weight. When you first try to lose weight, you, it seems like it just drops off like that, and after you get a certain amount off, it, it slows down. Uh, it's hard. I did it once before, about 156 months, and kind of taking my sixty and stuff like that, probably. And, but I did it the wrong way. I did it on diet pills and barely ate and stuff like that. Uh, but I gained it all back faster than I lost it. And that's how I lost the weight. So you, you growing up poor. With your family getting food from the McCain dumpster. Yeah, dumpster. Being where you're at right now, getting the diagnosis from the doctor that you, you had to do something, right? Yeah. So either lose your weight or die between 50 and 55 years of age. You know, I'm 40 now, so that's part of the reason I'm losing weight. Scared that. Uh, Jesus, <laughs> Not really after that. You, you know your budget. You know how much money you have. What's your first reaction? How can I get fruit and vegetables in each day? That's the problem. It's like prices of stuff like milk. It costs me, what, three dollars and fifteen cents, three dollars and thirty cents a liter. I have to drink skin milk especially, and uh, I was diagnosed with fat and grease in my blood. Otherwise cholesterol. And uh, the way it's hard to eat healthy like fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, so you buy your fruits and vegetables. Four or five days later they're gone bad. They don't last long, especially bananas which turn black within four days if you're lucky. Uh, but the way I'm trying my best. It's hard to do it on a welfare, but what money I don't have, I go up there and, and panhandle mm -hmm. sometimes, just uh, every Saturday, just to get a little bit of money from the flea market. Oh, then that makes you feel. It makes me feel bad that I have to do that. If I could work, <coughs> find work, or if I could find something I could do, count on my back, and my health problems. Mm -hmm. I have asthma, but. I haven't had a problem with my asthma for since the last time I lost all that weight. I was that bad. Only time that I suffered from walking up the hill or something like that. But it used to, on an ordinary day, it used to wake up in the morning and can't breathe. So it's not as bad. But for me, I got scoliosis. I had surgery for that when I was 14 years old, curvature of the spine. Had a rod put in my back and had it taken out when I was 19, 20, again, because uh, they said it wasn't working, it was bothering me, my back, which it was. And, and when I was first living out on my own, I know I was getting four something a month and paying 250 for rent and 
you got your power vault range anywhere, so I was living in an old trailer. Uh, and how they are to heat. Uh, it would range anywhere from $100 to $150 a month for power. This is before I knew about the equalized payment plan. Like, I'm going to do power. Uh, you barely had, I was lucky to have 40 or 50 or $60 left per month for groceries. I see times I was at home, nothing in the cupboard, not a thing. I just tried everything. I, I got down, set up, down my room, set up, and I had to find something. So I had to, every once in a while, I had to shinsei shop with me just to eat or find a dumpster and buy the sodas or saving me and whatever bread or whatever they threw out. Is any good? I, I took home, and uh, so that's how I mostly did it. You only allowed to go to the food bank once a month, and that's the bad thing about it. They would give you a week, a week or two, three weeks supply, and I noticed they gave you more for one than they gave for two. So also, but the fruits and vegetables. Is Usually, you might have an odd time that you might get something out of with the fruits and vegetables to eat if they're not bad because they're set in. Do, do we know of anyone who can be healthy, who can have a healthy lifestyle? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Disability or their single rate is five something a month. Five thirty-seven a month for a person that they consider that you work. Uh, person on disability. If I wasn't married, I would be getting twenty-seven a month for long-term disability. And right now I'm getting nine twenty-seven a month. <coughs> That's not including the eighty-three seven eight seven something disability supplement. So and <coughs> that's even harder than paying for your rent, heat, and light. You have that old credit card bill that you had for a long time and, and your phone, whoever has cable, I don't have cable because we only have Rogers. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, it's hard to survive off of that, and especially if you got to buy, my condition, i got to buy food every week or two. Or so, and just hoping. You did it for the time. Still, you're up to the future. Finding ways to. I'm trying to get more. Yeah. yeah. Trying to figure anything else I can say. The food bank. The food bank's moving, of course, and like everything else that goes across the river, I love people's range. There's four times a day the bus goes down there in the social service office. It used to be on Queen Street. And they moved over in Cliff Street way up there and I would have you know, nowhere where you know, no bus goes. And someone has to go there in the middle of the winter time deliver a piece of paper and for something like income, what you make per month. Like I was picking bottles to also to make a little bit of money and so but now the bottles change moves out of the middle of nowhere, it's like everything else. <laughs> and it's hard for me to get the bottles in, find somebody or I would have to take them to a friend and sell them like they got fifty dollars worth of bottles, I'm like I'd be lucky to get twenty five dollars from him. So it's hard to do things like that. And uh, 